guys, here I am at Turin. It's part two of my hot cash haul. And I tried on a lot of things and I got in the part one. But guess what? I hope I can fix the video. From the time about halfway through till the end, there's no volume. We don't know why. But maybe I'll be able to do a voiceover because I really, really hate the thought that I might lose that video. But here is the way we're going to start number two video. It is my hot cash at Torrid video. If you don't know what hot cash is, when you shop, they give you a coupon that's $25 off a $50 purchase, and that's regular priced items. So, and then it starts on a date. The date was January 11th. And today's the 13th, and here I am with my hot cash that I got. So I'm having a ball, looking at some clothes to freshen up my wardrobe for the rest of the winter, and maybe pick up a couple pieces that'll last me through till the spring. So without further ado, here is a gray sweater. Now some of my tank underneath is showing through. There's a cutout. This is an amazingly soft sweater. It's a little short but it's so comfortable. It's a little shorter than what I would normally wear. I think with jeans, it works okay. But if I, here, I'll pull it up a little bit to get past that problem that I have. You know, the body positivity, it's really, really hard. And I was thinking about today, trying on some tank tops and remembering about summer. And I really do think that I am tired and weary of not being able to wear things that I think are so pretty and nice on me because there's certain things I don't like about myself. So I jimmied up this sweater a little bit and you see how much better it looks when it's jimmied up. And this is me, I'm an apple shape. I'm an apple shape, but I'm a nice sweet apple. So don't forget it. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm not sure about this yet. I'll have to think about it while I try some more things on. Hold on, next thing up. I'm not quite sure today. This is a dress. I got it on the dress rack and it is a number four. And it is, it fits, but yet a four just doesn't fit right up here. I'm a little smaller, but that's the way it is when you're in apple shape. You're smaller in the shoulder area and then get a little larger. And this is a dress, but I think it could be worn with leggings and boots. And it was on clearance, so I'm not altogether sure what I'm going to do about this. It's light gray, it's cotton spandex, it does have cotton in, I can feel. And uh, so it's very loose and very forgiving. And the length is right below my knees, but I can imagine it with a nice pair of leggings, ankle boots. And tell me what you think. It's the baby doll styling, which don't say a word. I haven't hardly had any baby dolls on today, but they're coming, they're coming. You know how I am with baby doll tops. So this is kind of baby doll, but do you see how the sleeves underneath here, they're a little bit too loose. And then probably a three would be a little bit too small. I'm kind of always right in the middle. So I'm gonna think about this one. Hold on, I spoke too soon. Here I am in my most beloved floral. And it's a different floral, believe it or not. I do not have this floral. And I wear kind of like a t-shirt, like an everyday wear, because I think they're so feminine and I think they're so pretty and they make me feel really, really good. I think it hides everything I want to hide and kind of brings out everything I want to bring out. So another floral baby doll top going in the yes pile. It is made out of polyester and spandex. The front is cut a little low, but I always have the tank underneath. So I think it'll work really well. Hang on. Well, here I am. Now this is a baby doll top. It has lace and lace in the back. It's longer in the back, shorter in the front, has some lace on the shoulders. This material is cotton. It has some spandex in, but it's a thermal knit. It's like a large thermal knit. You can see here, it's not your small regular thermal knit, it's a little bit larger of a thermal knit. And it's also a little bit shorter in the front, but I think it is long enough. And the side view, I think. Mr. Rundle likes it. Mr. Rundle, do you like it? I do. Do you think I should get it? I do. I'm not 100% sure, but you know what? If the husband likes it, we have to consider it. I think he likes the back here. Do you like that back? I do. Aw, you're so sweet. I am. Thank you, Mr. Rundle. 
Now I tried this on, you know what? It looks like a nice, plain little gray, and it's a real light sweater, nice and smooth sweater, and then I go to leave the room, and I'm walking away. What a surprise! Look, I have a ruffle and a see-through. Now I have black one today. I probably would not wear black with this. Mr. Rundle thinks I have it on backwards. I told him, it's not on backwards. This is the way it goes. He doesn't like it. I think, I think I like it. You don't like it, Mr. Rundle? What don't you like about it? Looks like it's on backwards. It's not on backwards, I tell you. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is the, one of those tops where it looks good when you're coming and it looks good when you're going. Here I go. I'll take your word for it. I'm leaving. Here is an ombre, very fine gauge sweater. Gets darker as it goes down. It is, it's not hatchy, it's like almost like a jagged stripe, and there is a term for it now. I can't, it, right now I've lost it, but I can't think of it. And it also has a non, a rough edged hem. And it, this is a shark bite, where the other one is. And I, I like this. I like it a lot. I think you could, there's really so much you can do with it. You could throw on a black jacket, a black vest. Uh, all kinds of scarves, all kinds of jewelry. This is one of those, plus you have the dark to the light, brings up attention to your face, and we always want to bring attention to our face. So I am getting this shirt. I like it. What do you think, Mr. Rundle? I think it's very nice. Thank you, Mr. Rundle. Okay, I'm going to try a jacket on with it. Just because it's here. Just because it's here. As if you've seen my videos, you know that I haven't had a lot of luck with jackets. And by golly, now this jacket, most of the jackets I try on are too tight. And this one's way too loose. But you know what? I kind of like it. I love the material. It's a stretchy gabardine fabric. I'm going to see if they have a smaller size. And I'll check what size it is. Just give me a second, and I will let you know. Probably a four. It is, it's a four, and it is way too big. But remember, if you've watched my other videos, most of the jackets I tried on were way too small in a three, and some of them were even too small in a four. But this one runs large. So hold on, I will try a smaller size if they have it. Well, here is a very stretchy sweater, but you know what? Has grommets up here, has this nice little rayon little thing at the bottom, nice and long. So comfy, so warm, long sleeves. Will really pep up the rest of my winter outfit. I love it. The, the sweater is almost like a rayon spandex sweater and it's ripped. It's not like a yarn sweater. It is amazingly comfortable. And you know how sometimes with these at the bottom, because they don't give, they're not big enough, they made this plenty big that if you're a pear shape, you will have room on the bottom. I love it. It's on the to-go list. Da, 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 da. You know what Mr. Rundle said when I put this on? He said, I look like Lily Munster. <laughs> Do I look like Lily Munster anyway? I think no. it's mesh, and you know how I love mesh, and it can be layered. But for me, you know what this says? Mish this mesh. says, Mrs. Rundle's going to get it into things. When she goes to the ladies' room, she's going to put it in the sink. And when she eats her dinner, it's going to go into the mashed potatoes. And since Mr. Rundle thinks I look like Lily Munster, but can you imagine, really, to dress it up if you had a beautiful vest and a skirt and a scarf, you know, and just had these these very beautiful mesh sleeves. I think that it could be really, really classy and beautiful, but in my life, it is not going to work for me. But for someone else, it could be beautiful. I'm almost at the end, almost at the end.
Here is a hooded sweatshirt with beautiful floral embroidery on it. And this is kind of like a hooded sweatshirt. It's kind of like a bomber jacket. And I think I discovered earlier, even though they're really in style, they kind of don't look good on me. I don't know why. They make me look, they draw attention to everything I don't like. So uh, on the right person, this could be a really, really cute sweatshirt hoodie. But for me, nope, not going to do it. Well, here is a dress, a long sleeve. It's kind of like a dress modeled on a floral baby doll top. And I really, really like it. Now, there is a pull in here, but as you can see, it's not because it's too tight. It's just the way it's made. But I can throw a stitch or two in that so it doesn't pull open. And I can see this with black tights and booties, a vest. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Mr. Rondo, do you think it's beautiful? I think it's marvelous. I think this is going on the, I'm getting this dress pile. Well, here's my last item to try on for today. Now, this is not a baby doll. This has a longer waist. And because of that, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's more of a regular waist. And as you can see, that's kind of not my most complimentary spot. And it's about four or five inches too long. So I would have to get it fixed, but it fits nice. Now this is a four and it is a floral pattern, which you know I love florals, but I think honestly, I'm gonna wait. I am sure they're gonna come out with some other styles and maybe something that's a little shorter because I like the Empire. But this has nice seaming for the right person. This would look amazing with a belt. Little short western booties. That's what I said to, to uh, Mr. Rundle. I said, if this fits, it looks nice. I can see it with my little short black western booties. But it doesn't. It's not quite me. So... I want to tell you that I have waited for weeks to come here. Oh my goodness, I just remembered I have one more thing to try on. Hold that thought. I can't believe I almost forgot this. I was holding it on the side. This is a different kimono. If you remember on video one of the hot cash, it was a beautiful plum color. This is made the same way, but this is the size three and four, and you can see it fits perfectly. And it hangs I think it gives the way it's cut with the sleeves it gives a beautiful shape to the middle it's long in the back this is year round wear you can wear it in the summer because it's light chiffon you can wear it in the winter over a sweater or a turtleneck I am in love with this piece so I had a ball like I always do at Torrid. Mr. Rundle, do you love Torrid? I love Torrid. So we had a really good time. Now we're going to mosey on down. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to mosey on down to the Bridgewater Food Court where they have an array of fine foods because we're hungry and it's lunchtime. So thank you so much for coming with me. Subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 500 and let's keep this thing growing. And I will let you know, I'm going to try to order the plum kimono because I think they're such versatile pieces. I recommend highly get kimonos. They're going to be, they're still so much in style. You can wear them all the season. So I love you all so much. Thank you for being with me. Love you. Bye.